an elderly man, complains of trouble breathing. He was recently hospitalized for an inferior wall myocardial infarction. On exam, he has diffuse rails on auscultation of his lungs. And a new holosystolic murmur that is loudest at the apex and radiates to the axilla. A chest x-ray is ordered and is seen here. Which of the following is likely to have caused this patient's symptoms? The correct answer is papillary muscle rupture. Papillary muscles are muscular projections that arise from the ventricles and anchor the leaflets to the ventricle. This anchoring prevents backflow of blood and the valve during systole, and during an MI, these muscles can be weaker due to ischemic tissue and as a result, lead to symptoms of heart failure like we see in this case. These events, however, are rare and are only seen in 1% of patients after an acute MI. However, this is not something that occurs immediately after an MI, and typically occurs 3-5 to five days after, and is more commonly seen in patients who have suffered inferior wall infarctions. In this case, this patient also complains of shortness of breath, and his chest x-ray reveals a large amount of pulmonary edema. This is likely the result of the papillary muscle rupture, leading to mitral regurgitation and eventual heart failure. Because of this rupture, the valve is not anchored and becomes insufficient. On auscultation of this patient's heart, you will hear a new holosystolic murmur loudest at the apex and radiating to the axilla, which is a classic description of mitral regurgitation. Over time, the body becomes overwhelmed and just can't compensate for the mitral insufficiency, leading to pulmonary extravasation of the fluid and pulmonary edema. Although ventricular wall ruptures are potential complications after an MI, these patients will classically present with signs and symptoms of cardiac tamponade. Dressler syndrome is pericarditis that can occur also as a complication after an MI. However, this typically occurs 10 weeks after the infarction and usually presents with chest pain and fever. Although this patient presents with pulmonary edema and shortness of breath, a new heart murmur and lack of infectious symptoms such as cough or fever go against the diagnosis of pneumonia. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week, we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology, from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like forever.